important instructions being given to the apostles today by Jesus. First, they are to go to towns and villages and proclaim that the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Secondly, what is their job? What needs to be done? Heal the sick, raise the dead, cleanse lepers, cast out demons. Third, how do they need to go about their job? You receive without paying, give without pay. Acquire no gold or silver. Take no bag for your journey. Take nothing extra. In other words, be totally dependent on God because He provides. And fourth, be prepared for rejection. Not everyone is going to receive the good news. And therefore, if somebody rejects the gospel, just shake up the dust in that town, leave that place and move on. Don't be discouraged. Get moving to another town or village and continue the work that has to be done. I believe these four tasks have been given to so many down the years. Not just missionaries, but those who do not hesitate to boldly proclaim the gospel. To announce to people about the kingdom of God being at hand and therefore the need to repent. People who've gone about healing. People who've gone about ministering and bringing comfort into the lives of others. People perhaps who've left everything, home, family, taken nothing with them and have depended entirely on God because they know that God provides when they are on His mission. And fourthly, well aware of the fact that at some time or the other, in some place or the other, their work has not been accepted, they have been rejected, but they've not been dis disappointed or discouraged. They just moved on to another town. My dear brothers and sisters, if we call ourselves Christians today, it's because of our predecessors. Those who worked hard beginning from Jesus, the apostles, and over the centuries so many missionaries who handed over the faith from one generation to the next. If the next generation must continue to call themselves Christians, then you and I have the same responsibility of handing over the faith to them. This is our duty, our responsibility, and in God we must trust. God bless and do have a Jesus-filled day.